Welcome to Storytime with Miss Williams. Today we'll be reading the story, Our Class is a Family, written by Shannon Olson, illustrated by Sandy Sonk. When you think of a family, you might picture one in a house, a mom, a dad, a couple of kids, plus their dogs, and a pet mouse. Perhaps you think of grandma or a stepmom and stepdad. It could be those 14 cousins and that twin who makes you mad. But family doesn't have to be who you're related to. It can be another special group who love and care for you. Check out the class garden. Have you ever thought about where most of your time is spent? It's at school with all of us. That's where all those hours went. So if our classroom is the place where you spend most of our days, why wouldn't we want to make it like a home in many ways? It's a place where we can show respect and kindness to each other. A spot where we can be ourselves and make memories with one another. We'll have things in common. These are connections that we seek, but we'll still celebrate our differences and what makes us each unique. Our classroom is a special haven where it's okay to make mistakes. We learn from them and try again, no matter what it takes. We'll all have tough days sometimes, but your teacher is here for you. And as long as you're a friend to others, your peers will be there too. So let's always remember what a great team we can be. You have our back, we have yours, we're a classroom family. It's time for discussion questions. Question number one. What are some examples from the story that show how the class behaves like a family? How do you think this helps everyone in the class? Question number two. How does the story make you feel about your own classmates? Do you have any special traditions or ways of showing that your class is like a family? Question number three. Why do you think it's important for a classroom to feel like a family? How can it make learning and being at school more enjoyable? And question number four. Can you think of a time when you've experienced or witnessed your class acting like a family? What happened and how did it make you feel? Thanks for watching. See you for our next story time.